Looking forward to that. But now, for the last three years, we've been gripped by the every move of vet Alice Collins, played by our first guest today in the hit ITV1 drama Wild at Heart. The series finished in March, but luckily for us, we'll be back briefly at Christmas time. Let's remind ourselves of the reason why Alice had to dramatically flee the African plains. It's Rowan. He's had a car accident. Is, is he okay? How bad is it? He's in intensive care. God, what happened? I don't know, but Caroline's looking into flights for you. Yeah, of course. I'll come with you. You can't go. Why not? You know why not. No, I don't. Well, because it, because this is what we all work for. This is our new home. Yeah, look, this house is our future and we will sort it. But I have to do this first. Yeah, you can get started on it while we're gone. And I can help. After all, Dope, we're in this together, right? <gasps> oh. Please welcome Dawn Steele. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. 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 I know I was like pregnant, man. You were? Yeah. Well, well, that was the first episode of the series that we saw earlier this yeah, year. Wasn't yeah, I was it? supposed to do uh, about six episodes, but unfortunately I had to go home to have my baby. And it was like, I mean, we found I found that out on the Thursday, and on the Friday we filmed that scene. I was like, oh, get rid of me quite easily, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> it was a little bit scary how quickly that happened. Yeah. But, yeah. Was that your choice, though? Did you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually had, um, oh, just tell everyone, I had a placenta previa. So uh, I, it was just timings of when you could fly home and when you were allowed to. And they said, well, you can either have your baby in Africa or at home. And well, I wanted to come uh, home. Yeah. So, and also, yeah. there's all them animals about. You don't know what you're going to pick up. No, no. No. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, you've got to be careful, haven't you? Because there's yeah. diseases that can spread and things. Yeah, Is yeah. That... I mean, well, I mean, I've, if I'd had my baby out there, it would have all been private. And, you know, I mean, it's uh, all the... They're like hotels or hospitals out there, mm. but they're very expensive. Oh, really? So, yes, I thought I'd come home to the good old NHS. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your baby now. Oh, of course, the NHS. Yeah. Yes. Um, how old is your baby child she now? She is six and a half months. Oh. She's yeah. Coco, this is this Coco, is Coco, there she is. She's got your eyes, your beautiful blue eyes. She has got my eyes, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I'm going to awe at that. Oh, do you oh, even oh, like oh, it, Carol? Oh, oh, steady. Oh. Oh. Person, but if you want to babysit, so you can have her. No, that, no, 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 don't go that far. Definitely not. So what's happening with Wild at Heart? Because that was supposed to be the last series ever. It's coming back, though, isn't it? Well, what they did was the well, they've cancelled it. Yeah. And um, but what we're going to do is a Christmas special. So oh, you know, we'll nice. get it will be really nice because we'll get to finish it off. I'll get to go back out with the baby and show mm. it off, and and we'll get to say goodbye to everyone and, and finish it properly. And in you know, the meantime, you're doing something meantime. very exciting. This play, Volcano. Play. Yes. Explain all. I'm doing a no coward play called Volcano, and we're actually on in Windsor at the moment. Um, and it's set on a fictitious island uh, somewhere in the Caribbean. And it's all expats um, living on banana plantations. And I get wind that my husband's been having an affair with oh. Adela Shelley, um, played by Jenny Seagrove. Mm -hmm. And I get right out there on a plane and, and sort him out, really. Oh. Well, kind of sort of my. Are you a posh really. drunk in it? <laughs> and no, I'm not a drunk. I'm posh. Right. Yeah. But I'm not a drunk. Maybe oh. I should have done that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you do it like that tonight? Just see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she does, she does drink me What's vodka. the volcano bit of it, then? Well, it's set on... the uh, Her house is right on the side of Volcano. Um, I mean, it's a bit... It's quite so heavy it's the on the symbolism. And, yeah, <laughs> a metaphor for the relationships yes. and everything bubbling yes, under. And yes. does the volcano... It erupt. does erupt, yes. As, I um, suppose. So we've got quite a bit of special effects going on as well. And, you know, and it's, it's good. It's really good fun. It's like, you know, the, the lighting's amazing and the set and they've made it all really hot. And obviously, because it's absolutely baking hot outside, all the audience are like, <laughs> I actually feel like we're on a volcano. Yeah. Is she likeable, your character? Not at all. Oh. No. <laughs> and it's brilliant. I'm playing a real bitch, so it's quite yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Was it yeah. based on a real story, though, between Noel Coward and Ian Fleming? Yeah, yeah. And, and their, you know, they all lived out in the Caribbean, you know, their life's out there. I mean, they say it's, it's not really, but I think it is a bit, you know. Mm. And how they, you know, his relationship, because there's, there's a lot of um, gay, you know, there's uh, homosexual references in it. There's, you know, it's all kind of all these people having different affairs with yeah. each other, really. Mm -hmm. um, so when I, my character goes out, not only does she find out he's having an affair with one girl, he's also 
had an affair with another oh. one and a man. Yeah. Oh, wow. I know she's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's quite good. Yeah, it's quite and good. you get to sing, because the last time I met you, we were on Fame Academy. Really I took gutty. a very early bath on that. <laughs> uh, you did very well. You can really sing. Mm, all right, I didn't do too well. I mean, what did I can't even... than me, <laughs> <laughs> when did you? I can't even remember. Second, I went. I was out second. It was first. I was furious. <laughs> <laughs> but it does get a wee bit competitive, doesn't oh, it? And it's hard kidding. not to feel a bit kind of. I'm sure. You know, exposed anyway. So volcano is yeah. on tour at the moment, yes. isn't it? So, so we're can in I ask this week. you? Because we were talking about time and how quickly time goes. Oh, how do goodness. you pack out? You've got a six and a half month old baby. Oh, I'm so busy. You're no, not. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me. My is so busy. Just tell me, Giff, how busy your life yeah. is once you have children. Oh, it's a moment. Unbelievable, and to, uh, uh, no one can no one can tell you how unbelievable it is. And also, like but the time you, is just going like that. What I did can't you expect? It. What did you expect? <laughs> I don't know <I> <laughs> exactly. I think there's a conspiracy. People don't tell you actually how hard it is. Well, they do, mm. but you don't really listen. She's like, oh, my baby. And well, you know, so I think you could. Then you actually, you're shell shocked. But does having a child does it make the time go quicker or? watching it, something so small grow up quite slowly, yeah, let's face yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes so quick and people tell you that, don't they? They're yeah. like, oh, the next thing you know, they're going to college and they're... And she's already... I mean, oh, I remember no. I'm obsessed with time at the moment because obviously, you know, you're breastfeeding and you're staring at the clock all the time, yeah. even though all the books say, oh, don't look at the clock. And, you know, <laughs> of course, you're just like, right, OK, she's doing next feed. Yeah. And, and now she's I'm weaning her and it's all about naps and... Oh, I'm obsessed with the time. Obsessed. Yeah. I'm continually <laughs> looking at my phone. Yeah, and then obviously I'm doing the play, so it's like I've got to get to the theatre on yes, time. Exactly. I've got to drive through London, oh, and yeah, nightmare. I got to the play yesterday. And I was like two hours early or something. But like, <laughs> you got it all wrong. This is not good. <laughs> nice yeah. little nap in the dressing room. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Dawn, it's absolutely lovely to see you on Lucy. Thank and you wish so much. All the best with Volcano, yes, which is on so tour. On. Yeah, we're on Windsor at the moment. We go to Richmond next week, oh. and then we're on to Bath, Cambridge, Oxford. Oh, yeah, that's name. Yeah, lovely. And lovely to. See you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank Steel. you. <laughs> Competition time.